Welcome to Living a Sustainable Dream, and today we are going tractor shopping. Is that right? Yeah. So we're looking at tractors, hoping that maybe our tractor uh, that we purchase, if we purchase a tractor, is still on the debate and fence, because it means that we would have to go back into debt. Uh, we've been debt-free for, well, we've been debt-free since, uh, if you don't count a mortgage, uh, we've been debt-free since 2009. Yeah. And then we sold our house in 2010 and have had no mortgage, no debt, built our house completely debt free off the sale of our other home. Right. And so we've been living off grid, no mortgage, no electric bill, <laughs> no water bill, no sewage bill. All we're doing is yeah. paying property taxes on the property we live on. Right. Living free. Boy, isn't that nice. It is. I mean, we, <laughs> you know, uh, if you see our other video, which is the, the pajama rant, uh, this is War YouTube, uh, I talk a little bit about kind of our finances a month, but our house payment when we used to live in Oregon right. was around $1,100. $1, yeah, 11 and change. $1,100 yep. a month. And now we have $1,100 of my income freed up. To right. save up to build our barn shop, so and the electric bill was huge when oh, we yeah. lived on the coast. Was it like three eighty a month yeah, in the winter? Yeah, it was huge. Right. Yeah. So. So anyway, yes. Now anyway, we have it. so we're looking at what? Hopefully buying a tractor. Thinking about it, it'd be a five year, right? Five. A five year loan debt. So it would be five years of paying it off, and then we'd be back again, totally with you know, no extra payments of any kind. But yeah, so it's it's the debate. Right. So here's the tractors we're looking at, okay? So we kind of narrowed it down. We're looking at, right. Um, right now today, we're at the Yanmar dealership, and we're looking at the Yanmar, but they closed and then ran out on us so they wouldn't have to talk to us, because obviously... Well, we came at what, 12, 15, uh, maybe, or 12, no, 10? I'd say we were earlier than that. And, and they, they close at 12. <laughs> so we were probably here around 11 55 yeah. and they're like oh we're not talking to people again well yeah because as i was putting my jacket on to because it's raining today and um i see someone sneak out the back of the building and get in a pickup and drive away and i'm telling you they went fast yeah. <laughs> okay so do they really want to sell tractors i don't know well, man. not today in the rain anyways so it's pouring like crazy the snow is melting all around us it's flooding everywhere yeah you couldn't ask for a better day to get a babysitter and go tractor hunting. Right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so why would you buy, why do you think we should buy a new tractor, Versus, go into debt, oh. instead of getting a used tractor online? Because we probably could buy a used tractor. We could. I mean, you could. There's tractors out there, obviously, yeah. yeah. But tractors, in my mind's eye, are something that people use and abuse. Maybe not on purpose, but they are... They're workhorses. Yeah, I mean, when you have a property and you have a tractor, you're using it. Yeah. You know, I mean, you're... Shucks, you're going through all si all types of weather, all types of terrain, mm -hmm. removing whatever you want to remove, grinding up whatever dirt or whatever. What do you call that, Mark? Not grinding. Um, sorry, rototilling, turning mm -hmm. up, whatever. Um, shoveling whatever stuff you want to shovel. Right. They are used and abused. And so the tractors that my husband's been doing most of the research, to be honest, Mark has, and mm -hmm. they are used and abused. Yeah. And so you're getting a lot of someone else's problem. Yeah, you're well. We bought a snowplow truck, and boy, <laughs> did we inherit Eek. we inherited problems. <laughs> zzz, 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 plural. Yeah. So I don't want to do the same thing with a tractor, and this is an investment to me. Where yeah. we're gonna build a barn shop. That's that's a no brainer. We're gonna do it. I mean, I'm tired. You guys have seen the videos of me working in my kitchen. I mean, come on, it's time for me to build a shop. And start yeah. working on the vehicles in house on the right. property instead of having to go to a mechanic. And your small um, machines, or yeah, you know, the like small, the snowblowers, the that I'm still working on at home, but yeah. it's kitchen shop. Yeah, kitchen shop. Kip That's not no, even no. correct. No. Uh, I mean, for anyone to do, but you know, you do what you got to do to survive out yeah. here. Uh, well, and and our little small business. I make candles in this little shack. That was on the property. It's pretty, uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, and it's oh, it's time for that to come down. Well, if you watch the video about snow removal on the roof, where I'm on the roof, that thing's gonna come down soon. Yeah. And so we need to. Uh, it's time to build a shop. Yeah. So it's just time. Um. So so I don't want to buy someone else's problems, but here's the thing that's interesting is so we're looking at Craigslist in our area, and the used tractors by far are overpriced. I mean, they're over half of a brand new tractor. Right. 
And I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna pay over half for a, uh, for a used tractor that's been beat up, used and abused, and has problems. I know they have problems, because that's why they're getting rid of it. Of course, they wouldn't get rid of it, right. So they're getting rid of it. Yeah. And they're gonna get something new and, and, and pretty. Upgrade a little so bit. So here's the brands that are all circulating on Craigslist right now in our area. Right. It is number one John Deere. Everybody is bailing on their John Deeres. They're getting rid of them. Now, what? What? How old are the John Deeres, babe? Like, are they, you know, five recent to, old? Five to ten know? years old. Oh, okay. Yeah, five to ten years old. They're bailing on John Deere. So John Deere is, for some reason, uh, that brand. People are getting rid of it and getting some else. The other brand that they're getting rid of is Kubota. So if you're looking for a used tractor, hmm. Kubotas and John Deere are kind of like the lead tractors in our area. They have a good name supposedly a good reputation but when you start looking into customer reviews of the product mm. you start to realize that a lot of people are switching to uh, the Korean made tractors they get a better bang for their buck the tractors are well made um, warranties like, are pretty good warranties are great so we're looking right now at a Yanmar and the Yanmar is boasting at a five-year warranty okay but we're also looking at a Coyote tractor and the Coyote is boasting a powertrain six-year warranty so this right. is all very good to go with. And we're looking at probably a $20,000 price range for a 35 horse tractor. And then you got your implements and stuff that you want to add to, that we want right. to add to it. And, and their prices are pretty comparable, aren't they, between Yanmar and Coyote? I mean, they, the, the prices are not that huge. Right. Different, the the really. difference is a, a, a one year warranty difference between right. the two. Coyote has six. Yanmar 5. Right. Um, however, the loading, Coyote... Loading capability yeah, is pretty similar, isn't seems it? Pretty, or lift, whatever. Yeah, it seems pretty... Horsepower seems very similar. Um, we're finding plastic on the fenders of the Yanmar. Can't Coyote, say I like that. Coyote has steel. Yeah, seems it's like all metal. All yeah. So we're going to head off to Coyote dealership and see what they're about. But um, anyway, we'll, we'll I'll probably open up the window and just kind of show you the tractors in a minute here. Well, yeah, yeah show the one we're looking the at. The we're looking at. Um... Anything else you, you need to talk about, maybe, about tractor finding? You know, and I think, in my, it seems like, as far as Yanmar and Coyote, in our mind's eye, they're, or, and what Mark's found out, they're pretty similar. I mean, really. Right. right. The thing that is also maybe going to sell is, um, how's customer service? Yeah. Can we get it serviced around yeah. where, we're, where we're living? Yep. Yeah. Can we get parts? Yeah. Are people running out the door when you show up? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> and, you know, can you get parts? Yeah. You know, can we... Because I, mean, I want to work on all, the tractor myself yeah, so, after that warranty Yeah, job. so, you know, or let's say it's something major and you do need it to go into the shop. Is there one around? I mean, can right. we even get it anywhere? Can so I think that's also, since the tractor itself is pretty similar, um, there's a couple things too, like the um, gas tank location to fill up your yeah, tank was yeah. different for Yanmar than Coyote. Yeah, we'll do a walk around on the, the Yanmar and show you the yeah. one we're looking at. And then we'll compare the other one with the, the Coyote because we're going to head off to, uh, gosh, it's going to take us about an hour to get there. Yeah, so uh, the Coyote dealership is a little bit further away from right, to us, but right. from us. Blah. So anyway, so we're hunting, a tra hunting for a tractor. We're debating on if we should go back into debt. I mean, if we technically waited another two years, didn't build a shop and continue to use the kitchen as a shop for engine repairs and small items and stuff, then we could probably pay cash outright. But here's the thing is that if we build the shop, I need the tractor. The tractor is going to be key in leveling the ground, putting in my post holes, building our pole barn uh, slash shop. So I'm going to get my equity out of it because I'm not hiring it out for someone to do it. I'm going to do it myself. Right. So the tractor is going to save three or $4,000 on land preparation. Right. And site work, the lifting of the poles, putting everything in place, because right. I'm doing it all myself. Right. And that's going to really help out. Also... Well, and we can use it also. I mean, this sounds silly, but we can use the tractor, too, because you want to get forks to put a platform on and raise yourself up so we can get up high yeah. and work. You know, yeah. I mean, it so it'd be like it a, would help us out a lot. Yeah, it'd be like a scaffold. It would be mm -hmm. a way to brace the poles up. I mean, it's going to do a lot. Of, it will pay for itself <laughs> and work. Yeah. And plus, firewood season will be oh, made easier. Oh, yeah. So there's all kinds of We gather of how many how many cord honey do we gather every year? Well, we filled our we filled our woodshed up to woodshed up to nine and a half cords this year, and we have already burned four cords and we're work, mm, well no we burned and five and we burned yeah, five cords five now. cord of wood. So we gather anywhere from what five to eight cord probably every year, huh? Yeah. The tractor would be so helpful. Yeah, it would be. And we're not getting any younger, are we, babe? No, I'm getting older. You know, things are starting to creak more. It's hard. 
it's harder to haul. It's harder to, you know, like um, last summer, I remember, man, we'd work all day. I mean, all day on firewood. And the next day we'd be like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, you know, the sure. tractor would would help a lot as far as just loading, getting it to the woodshed, mm -hmm. and then having, you know, then we can split it and stack it and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, if you want to... You know, realistically, you're not young forever. And if you want to stay on your homestead as long as possible, there are some adjustments that seem to be, have to be made. Yep. So, we'll see. The tractor would help, too. Looks like other people are here to look at the tractors, too. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, well. Let's go look at our tractor. Yeah. Or let's go look at a tractor Potential. we're interested in. Yeah. Do a walk around. All right. You ready? Sure. Back into the rain. Here we go. Okay, so what we're doing is we're looking at a Yanmar uh, 34 horsepower tractor. Uh, this is the hydrostatic, which you can see I'm pointing out the forward pedal and the backward pedal. It's almost like driving an electric golf cart, but this is a diesel. So this is the Yanmar 235. Um, it's got some pretty cool uh, headlights on the front there. Uh, it's got a quick release bucket on the front. Uh, it's four wheel drive which is a definite must uh, if you're going out and getting firewood and so forth and climbing around. What I'm pointing out is that this is the, the gas tank right here. And um, the gas tank on the TYM and the Coyote are located on the back of the tractor above the three-point uh, three hitch. Okay, here's the 235.454 horsepower. It only brags at a 1,300-pound lift capacity, and it's 23,795, as you saw there. Um, not as strong as a TYM. TYM can lift up to 2,200 pounds, and the Coyote can lift up to 1,800 pounds. Um, there's the gear shift for high, medium, and low. Here's the PTO. I also looked underneath there, and there is no hydraulics hooked onto these tractors. Uh, to put hydraulics on, you're looking at another 400. And... It's a nice tractor. Um, it's got a great bush guard on the front, solid steel. Um, there was some plastic on the rear fenders. Uh, but all in all, it's a it's a beautiful tractor, the Yamar. We just finished looking at the Coyote tractors and the TYM tractors, or I like to call them Tim. <laughs> yep. And what do you think? Uh, well, you know they're they're pretty comparable. Uh, we got a price sheet. And I think what we're going to do is uh, go out for coffee, talk about it, yep, um, and then crunch some numbers and see if we can get our payment down to below 400 a month if possible. That would be great. If we have some money saved, we could probably put a down payment on or could um, not get the... All the extra implements. All the implements we want, but we could pay cash for the implements and not take a loan out on that. That might... Oh, now that's an option right there. Yeah, because we saved up on that. So hmm. our goal is to take a five-year loan at the most. Um, and we'll crunch the numbers, and then I'll talk about the numbers probably later tonight. We'll sit down and, yeah. and get it. Now, the one thing I liked about the Coyote, and this is probably going to sound cheesy, or the, and, the, and the TYM, they're all the same. They're at the same dealership, those mm -hmm. two tri tractors, is I really like their customer service, and I know that sounds really cheesy, but they wanted. To, they talked with us. They they want to sell tractors. You mean they they didn't run away and hide? <laughs> right. Yeah. So they want to sell the tractors, but they were upfront on price, upfront on. They have a great service center. Right. They also yeah. have a great parts. Oh they, yeah. If you need a part and you want to do it yourself, I can get any part I want for either of those you tractors. Can. If I need to fix it no myself, problem. something's gone wrong. Right. I can do it myself. Right. And I think they're a little bit less expensive than the. The Yanmars? The Yanmars, aren't they? Um, you know because, what? Because um, the Yanmars started at what with just the bucket? Oh, I think they're at 20. They're comparable for price. Really? They really were. Oh, okay. Okay, well then. But they also yeah. have a deal going on at that dealership where you can get a 39 horsepower TYM oh, tractor true. for the same price as a 35 horse right. TYM tractor. And it's got even more implement attachments on it. And oh, that might it does. save us more money. True, and it already had the hydraulics. Yeah, it's a little bit more. It's two thousand more than the Coyote, mm -hmm. I think, out the door. Mm -hmm. So, gosh, that's tempting too. I know. So basically, it really comes down to color. So you know, the TYM is red, and the Coyotes are orange. I'm just saying. No, it's not about color. <laughs> 
Like it's about it. horsepower and lift. The TYM can lift 2,200 pounds. Yes, and that was pretty. The Coyote yes. can lift up 1,800 pounds. Or I thought it was 19. 18. 18. 1,800 pounds. Okay, that is, yeah, and that's a little different. So, yeah. I'm debating that, you know, because you want you want good lift power, especially for putting in the the poles for the pole barn. Right. You're gonna have to lift the pole barns up, hold them in place, and then kind of balance them while you're. And then also you're logging and doing all the all the lifting stuff, the lifting up. all the trees up. You want good yeah. lift. So. And one of the implements was a um, oh a grabber. Well, we're gonna get that grabber. for sure, right? Yeah. yeah. That was pretty cool. Yeah. So. All right. So. Hmm. Let's talk about it later. All right. Well, thank I you. I have a feeling though. Um, Oh, that's, I don't want to talk about that. Well, we'll talk about that. We'll crunch the numbers okay. and, and get that out. Usually, it's like playing chess, strategic. Yep. Make your move and make them strategic. Either pay someone the $3,000 and never see it again or have that $3,000 in equity to your tractor. And I'm, I'm sorry, but a tractor for me for 35 years, 30 years is is way better, I think. And I don't, and inheriting someone else's problems right now, I'm not sure I feel like doing that. No. We're in the middle of our first little build and the hydraulics go out. Yeah, not going to happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> so anyway, anyway. <clears throat> we'll talk okay. later about it. Thank there goodness we the go. sun came out today. Yeah, right? After it rained the whole time. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right.